This morning, I want to share with us about thriving in tough times. Amen. 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 Wrapping my mind to it, so many things, and they'll just keep coming. Hallelujah. Thriving in tough times. Amen. Genesis 21, 26. I want to open our Bible to the book of Genesis. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we give you glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning that lives will be changed. We will be encouraged. We will speak through me, Lord Jesus, and speak from my spirit in the name of Jesus. Dear Holy Spirit, you help me this morning to speak your mind and to express your thoughts in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. So Genesis 26 verse 1. He said, there was farm, a famine in the land beside the first farming that was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of Philistine, in Gerah. Then the Lord appeared to him and said, do not go down to Egypt. Live in the land which I shall tell you. Dwell in this land and I will be with you and bless you. For to you and your descendants, I will give all these lands, and I will perform the hoods which I swore to your father, Abraham, your father. Let me jump to verse 12. Then Isaac soaked in that land and reaped in the same year a hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. Glory to God. The man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, we all know some of us know this story, or we all should do. Praise the Lord. The Bible says there was famine in the land. Worse than what Abraham actually witnessed. That tells you something. For those of us who are old enough, you remember the days of austerity, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I almost, you know, yesterday I was meditating and, and I just, I, I, a song came to my heart. I said, that makes me look like Pastor Tunde Bakari. <laughs> you know, he knows how to pick some of those old songs. Austerity measure, you got Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, seeing tough time is not strange. Hallelujah. It could be worse than the one your parents experienced. So is Isaac. So, not strange. So, don't be surprised. Few years from now, or some years from now, our children probably will see worse one if Jesus didn't come. Hallelujah. 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 One thing is certain about the world system. It will keep going down. Until Jesus comes. But one thing is certain about the life of the believer. It's from glory to glory. Yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's why Paul said when we behold him in him like in the mirror, I shared that during the week. He said we are transformed from one image of glory to another. We step from glory to glory. The world will get darker. It might get more confusing. But as many that stay in the light, it's a glorious day. Our yesterday it's not, going to be, it's not going to be better than tomorrow. Amen. That you can be sure about. Hallelujah. 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 So one of the characteristics we see in the world system is instability. And unreliable. The system of the world is not designed to sustain you. It's always a circle. You know, those days I'll be reading... When I read through some of Egan's book, he will mention the great depressing years. 
There's a period in here in the U.S. where like the Great Depression. But guess what? Last year, some Americans said what they experienced last year, even when they didn't even have store, food in stores, children food empty in some stores. They said even during the Great Depression, we didn't see this. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because greater famine came during Isaac than the one they experienced during Abraham. But God is the same. Hallelujah. He never changes. He made Abraham great even during that period. So also he made Isaac great. The Bible says he began to prosper. Glory to God. That's why he doesn't want us to depend on the system of this world. He never wants you to rely on government system. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you are hoping that minimum will you get you better, well, some people are already spending the money from the committees. Hallelujah. So it's not, your, it's not the plan for you. Glory to God. That's why in Psalm 33, I like contemporary English version of this. Psalm 33, 16 to 20. Mighty armies alone cannot win wars for a king. Great strength by itself cannot keep a soldier safe. In war, the strength of a horse cannot be trusted to take you to safety. But the Lord watches all who honor him and trust his kindness. He protects them from death and from starvation. Hallelujah. A translation says it protects them from famine. Hallelujah. God wants you and expects you and I to thrive and walk in his blessing regardless of our physical and geographical location or the economic condition of your environment. Hallelujah. The physical condition and economic climate of Gera is not right for Isaac to sow. Hallelujah. But the Lord was with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that the Lord is with you? It's not just with you, it's in you. Hallelujah. No wonder Isaiah 43, Isaiah could say boldly, he said, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Hallelujah. Do you know what that means? That you won't even feel the impact of the flame. Why? Because the Lord is with you. Amen. Hallelujah. David put it right. He said, even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head. Blessings overflows. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jeremiah 17, 7 to 8. He said, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, who hopes. It's in the Lord. For it shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when it comes. Hallelujah. But its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor cease from yielding fruits. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to his name. Hallelujah. What a contrast. In the year of drought, still producing. In the year of scarcity, still producing. Still living with excellence in mind, like Brother Shabu taught us this morning. Amen. God wants us, see, God's promise to us to prosper at all times is not based on any earthly economic condition. 
If you are a farmer, you will know it will not make sense to sow and to plant when there is dryness. Hallelujah. You know, I've seen some pictures of drought. When they said that, you know, the one we see in Nigeria, I said, hot weather, the land is dry. When you see some pictures, you see land cracking. Drop anything inside to cook it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And yet God said so. Number one, it's not even easy enough to, to, to cultivate during that period. <laughs> Hallelujah. To till the ground, ha, hard work. God says so. So. Hallelujah. Isaac knew he has two jobs to do. So and reap. God blessed. He expected to see the blessing of the Lord. And the Bible says, you know, if he has gotten like 50, uh, over 50% of what he did, it would have been great. The Bible says 100%. 100 fold. 100 fold. Glory to God. So then how do we then thrive or manifest God's blessings every time? Particularly in times like this. Hallelujah. I will share some thoughts with us this morning as much as my time can allow me. Number one, be bold and don't quit. Do you know, you know, I skipped some verses in that Genesis 26. I read 1 to 3. Then I went to 12 to 13. In between those verses, Isaac lost two wells. I hope you know that. He dug one, they fought over it, they took it from him. He went further, he dug another one, they took it from him. Yet the guy refused to quit. God says, stay in this land. There will be room for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 He could have started feeling sorry for himself. You know, sometimes things happen to us believers as well. Business goes wrong. You lost a job. You lost a deal. The chances are there. You start thinking that, oh, if, if, maybe, maybe if I'm a true Christian, if God is... No. The grace and the power of God we carry, the faith that we have received, does not necessarily take us away from challenges. No. It doesn't take us from challenges. But it overcomes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our faith overcomes every time. First John 5, 4 made it very clear. Is that for whoever is born of God, <laughs> that is whatever comes out of him, overcomes the world. And this is the victory that, we, that has overcome the world. Our faith I like the way message translation puts it. It said the concrete power that brings the world to its needs is our faith. There's only one outcome for us, victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, Jesus visited a particular city. And the Bible talked about the man that was possessed with demons. Who told him, said, and the guy came out. Now, this guy always come out charging after people, people run. He came out, Jesus walked towards him. Hallelujah. You know, if you have lived in that city for that long, and you know how this guy comes after people, when he showed up, you will have said him more. You could have gone the other way. No, but the anointing and the faith Jesus carries and live with does not take him away from trouble. In fact, he faced many. 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 Hallelujah. Do you know that at some point, David ran away from palace? Oh, yes. Anointed of God. For many years, he was on the run from Saul, yet anointed. 
Sometimes it seems that the more anointing you have, the more trouble that comes. Glory to God. But that's to tell you something that what you carry is bigger than the trouble that is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have more enough to do well in this period. Pastor have told us that this year is our year of increase. It really doesn't matter what comes our way. Increase must come. Hallelujah. On every side, increase must come. In our mind, increase must come. In our grace, grace will be multiplied. In our finances, increase must come. Glory to God. So the fact that the Naira is tumbling is not enough to feel sorry for yourself. Hallelujah. That you couldn't buy what you normally used to buy is not enough to feel sorry for yourself. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I went to a store yesterday. And I'm just trying to find more solution for the eat of Lagos. And I looked at an item and I said, oh, dear God. It's like <laughs> more than double of what I bought the last one. But you know what? I walked away telling the lady, said, I'll be back. <laughs> and I'll surely be back. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Just don't quit. Remember the story of Gideon? It makes no sense for that guy to still be trading meal to be in the wine press. The Bible said that every time Israelis plants anything, including their livestock, the Midianites will show up like locusts and they will consume everything. That's enough for you to quit. Because you are planting, you are not sure he's going to take it. This is every time. Until they left nothing for them. Yet, Gideon refused to quit. Saying somewhere in the wine press, see bringing things out, see creating food. That's why the angel showed up and said, Mighty man. <laughs> the, guess what? Even feeling frustrated, still don't quit. The guy was frustrated enough, but don't quit. In fact, after expressing his frustration to the angel, the response the angel said, said Go in this thy strength. Sometimes frustration is good. You know, sometimes you need to be frustrated enough to want a change. Sometimes, you know, all those things, sometimes we pick them, we thought it's all negative. Sometimes it produces good energy. Be frustrated enough to hate the situation. Get yourself, kick yourself, get moving. Just don't quit. Hallelujah. Tell someone, don't quit. Second thing I will talk about, trust in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. The proof of your trust is following his instruction. Like I said, it doesn't make sense for Isaac to have sold in that land. He could have looked for a better place. Maybe there's somewhere else that where the land is still better. You dug the first, okay, stay here. Okay, fine, no problem. Dug the first well, boom. They came after it. Dug the second well, boom. They came after it. That should be enough for him to say, God, are you sure I should still be in Gera? Maybe if I've gone to Egypt, maybe there will be not be anyone striving for this. Glory to God. Sometimes when we go through stuff, we want to negotiate things. We want to take the world's solution and not God's solution. Going down to Egypt, now, could be beyond physical thing, okay? Let's put it this way, in our own context. You know, yesterday I just tried to check up what's the meaning of Egypt for the Hebrews back then. It means a place of restraint, mystery, and tribulation and distress. Now, I'm not saying when you see Egyptians, that's not what I'm saying. No, that, that's not what I'm saying. 
But he's saying that's nowhere to go. He could have negotiated that. He said, everybody's striving with me, yet you said I should stay in Gera. Praise the Lord. The land is dry. Why should I stay in Gera? Regardless of where you go, just make sure God is with you. Be sure you are following his instruction, not crowd movement. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Amen. You know, about two weeks ago, this song kept coming to me. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus than to trust and obey. Consistently, I would just I had to at some point to go and pull down the song on and look for the lyrics again. Trust. The proof of your trust is in following his instruction. That's the proof of your trust. My third point, guard your heart. Guard your thoughts. Guard the imagination of your heart. That's one thing nobody can do for you. (laughs) Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus said in John 14, 1, he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Let not your heart be troubled. Nobody can do it on your behalf. It's only you that will let not. I can't let not on your behalf. Because sometimes, too, trouble comes to me, too. Oh, you think it doesn't come? (laughs) Glory to God. Glory to God. I remember joking with my brother here sometimes, uh, and I think I said it in church. When Fuel made our children's school to increase school fees, when they sent it to us, they sent it by mail. Just to make sure you don't miss it, they also sent it by WhatsApp message. My brother here called me and said, have you seen it? I said, I saw it dropped. I refused to open it. <laughs> but you know, either you open it or not, you still have to pay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because when I, I knew something was coming, I was like, oh dear God. Hallelujah. Yeah, sure, I have to eventually open <laughs> Do you think for the moment I saw it, my mind first didn't skip that whole boy? I remember, you know, telling my wife that, oh dear God, I thank God I only have one there. Because I could imagine people that have three kids. <laughs> how, that, how that announcement will sound. Praise the Lord. I'm like, okay. Between them, we see a gap. Let me see what happens. Before this guy gets there, ah, something is a lie. Thoughts will still come. But let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. The other day, I went to go and check uh, a school online just to see how much private universities are asking for in Nigeria. Let know your heart be troubled. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm still far away, bro. I know people like Russia going are closer. <laughs> Let know your heart be troubled. <laughs> Amen. Have you seen some of those fees before? Those of us who are paying. Oh. Let know your heart be troubled. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Times are tough. Times are tougher. Let no you have to be troubled. He said, food is this much right now. Let no your heart be troubled. 
Glory to God. Leave your mind, give your, leave heavenly minded. As believers, we receive the blessing of the Lord as purchased for us in his finished work. God's blessings for us. You know, Jesus said today, he said, my peace I give unto you. Not that the world gives. Do you know the things that are in that peace? It's not just absence of trouble. No, he wasn't speaking about that. It was shalom. Wellness, wholeness, well-being, all pulled together. Hallelujah. Such a peace that we can demonstrate and live out even in the time of trouble. Glory to God. Let your mind be settled on things that God told you. Because every other thing is a lies. That's what God said. All the trouble you could see, they are lies. They are not the truth. If you don't dwell in them, if you don't dwell on them, you will see God manifest himself in your life by his spirit. One of the reasons why we are not seeing enough manifestation of the spirit is because we're dwelling on the lies of the enemy. The Bible calls the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth. He can't confirm lies. Oh, you can't look at yourself and say, oh, I'm, I'm struggling. That's a lie. That's not your true reflection. When you look into the mirror, that's not the man that you see. Now, when I'm talking about mirror, now I'm talking about the mirror of God's word. And the Bible says, as many that continues in it, James, he said, they are the doers. That means for you to be a doing Christian, you must one that consistently focus on the truth. I'm blessed. It's not a cliche. It's my reality. I'm not trying to be who I am. Glory to God. I am not trying to be who I am, regardless of what I see. That is the mindset you must have. Glory to God. Some Christians do struggle with identity. Glory to God. You must never allow the events that you have passed through to shape your mind, to shape your expectation of your future. Glory to God. Because of that, some of us, we, we, we approach our father with beggarly mindsets. That's part of the problem of the Israelites. When God showed up at different times, God wanted to speak to them on Mount Sinai. They said, mm -mm. you go and listen to him. Mostly you listen to him. Tell us anything he tells you. But I'm so glad in Hebrews, the Bible said we have come to Mount Zion. Glory to God. Glory to God. On Mount Sinai, on Mount Sinai God gave the law. On Mount Zion, we receive grace. Where we can walk into the presence of our Father and talk to him anytime. And receive of him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I have the right kind of mindset. You know, people that have been around me for too long, they know I fight over this a lot. Yeah, and there's a reason. Because I know there's a war for every one of us to fight. And it's on the inside. Amen. Because our, our spirit man has been settled in perfect union with God. Where the trouble is, is our mind. And that's what controls our experience on the outside. The design of God is that we will live from inside out. The Bible says a righteous man out of his good treasure bringeth forth good things. Glory to God. So there may be drought around you. You bring forth surplus. It's on your inside. 
Glory to God. The Bible says, out of that belly shall flow. Rivers. 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 That's why the righteous will always produce results. All to produce results every time. Glory to God. Guard your heart. Don't let the news of the world shape your mind. If you are listening to inflation rate too much, quit. It's not compulsory, you must be on TV. Praise the Lord. Get good news. Fill your heart with it. If legend already 29%, so what? Amen. That is not the formula for all to succeed in this kingdom. The Bible says you are in this world, but you are not of this world. In 2 Corinthians 5, Paul called out ambassadors. Do you think the U.S. ambassador would be worried about how much they sell rice in Nigeria today? No. Why? Even though he is Nigeria, he is not of Nigeria. He knew his resources, his blessings, his supply do not come. It's not dependent on the economy of Nigeria. He knew that for a fact. If he's worried like any one of us, worried, he's worried like an average Nigerian, something must be wrong with him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. There may be black, black out in Nigeria. There won't be black out in U.S. Embassy. Because you know the system of that environment is not dependent on the Nigerian system. He is in this place, but he's not of this place. So as you are in the world system, but you are not of the world system, glory to God. His mindset, his image, his policy that guides him is not of this system. Hallelujah. That's why they don't talk like the way you will talk. They won't complain like the way anybody else will complain. They can't borrow the language of the environment where they live. Mm -hmm. They can't. That's why you will see an ambassador never have his own opinion. Oh, the moment you become an ambassador, on any major issue, you can't have your opinion. If you say, well, my country said this, but this is what I think. That's the last day you walk. You only carry the opinion of the nation that you represent. Glory to God. We are representative of Zion on earth. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible could say that when there is a casting down, we say there is a lifting up. Now you can connect that. It's not just because he wants us to say, but because that's the only thing we ought to say. Hallelujah. And Jesus explained that to us, the principle. He said, take note of saying. We shape the image that is on this place. We shape our thoughts. We shape the image. We shape the mind by the things we say. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You could have looked, I could have looked at those things yesterday and said, oh, only thieves can buy this. Well, because I'm not a thief, then I won't be able to buy. I ought not to buy. Hallelujah. I remember many years ago, few years ago, just barely 10 years ago, walking past a building in the night, taking a walk in my estate in the night, and I was looking at a building and I was thinking to myself that, oh, one of these days I'll buy this. One of these days I'll buy things like this. And I started walking. And two guys walked past me and they were talking about the same building. And one of them said, do you have an idea how much they sold that building? The other guy said, 90 million. He said, only thieves can buy it. Well, this is me just desiring to buy one and I'm not a thief. Well, I walked away and I said, I'm blessed and I'm going to buy one. I'm not a thief. Praise the Lord. 
Now, fast forward to 2024. Similar building with similar size. I called someone in my estate. And I said, how much do they sell this building? Do they want to sell this building? He said, 450 million. <laughs> I'll see by one. <laughs> Glory to God. The buildings are not created for this. They are created for blessed men like you. Don't think little of yourself. We carry God. We carry the great one. Hallelujah. I made a statement during the week. I stumbled on it from a man of God. He said the problem of the believer sometimes is because we think like atheists. In fact, this is what he said. He said, Christians, he said, the atheists are atheistic in their mindset to the God that they were told about. We said we believe in God, so you are now a believer. He said, but we became some Christian act atheistic in their mind about the God on their inside. That's why they could believe God will do great things, but will he do it for them? Remember the guy that came to Jesus and said that, oh, man, he came because he believed Jesus can do it. But he was asking, he said, will you, talking about him. Glory to God. You have to believe in what God has said about you. He didn't call you weak. He never called you broke. Don't take the vocabularies of definite or description that God didn't give you. I'm a champion. I'm a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember God then in school. I would tell myself, I wake up in the morning, I'm a success going somewhere to happen. I'm not hoping good things happen to me. I'm the good happening to the world. Glory to God. The Bible called out the light of this world. It called out the salt of this world. We bring goodness everywhere we go. Hallelujah. That's why when you say good money to someone, that money has to be good. We brew goodness. Hallelujah. 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 So what do I do? How do I respond when I hear messages like this? Pastor taught us during the last week, for those of us who are not following what bite, on how to thrive in this period. So I stole part of the message. Glory to God. Speak the right word. Wake up in the morning. Charge up yourself. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Do you know you can't pray in tongues and be complaining at the same time? Hallelujah. You don't know what to say. Yes, speak in tongues. Charge yourself up. Charge yourself up and speak the right word. Wake up in the morning and talk to yourself like a king. Talk to yourself like the one that have authority. Glory to God. Look at Satan. Bragging over what he stole from Adam. He told Jesus. He said, just bow to me. You see, watch everything here. Mm, I will give you. And it wasn't his. He stole it. Now it's rightfully yours. And you are still speaking. Like they broke Adam. Who said I was naked. You've been delivered from that. You've been transformed into a new kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can't take the wrong language at this period. That's not how to thrive in tough times. Glory to God. Glory to God. So I say, ah, Pastor, I just wish God would speak to me. He's already speaking to you. Look into his word. What did he say about you? Until you get used to the one that he has said in his word, you won't get to use to the one that is telling you. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. You wake up in the morning. Rather than say, ah, what will you say to me today? What will you, mm-mm. Just open your Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. New Living Translation, that's why I put it. The Lord is my shepherd. I have everything that I need. I, will, I love that part. He said, do Someone said, they are, they are chasing me. Mm-mm. 
You didn't read well. The Bible said goodness and mercy. That's what chases us. Baba Mama doesn't chase us. Someone from village cannot follow us. If they are following you, they are just probably looking to be blessed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't be like, be a blessing at this period. Maybe I should just say that before I, before I close. Be generous towards people during this period. That doesn't make sense, right? Because the common sense of the world say, hold much, hold on to the one that you have. You don't know what's going to happen. No, we know what will happen. Victory. Be generous towards people. That's what God has told us to do. Be generous. Be, gener- be a blessing. You have more money on you, someone is struggling to get to work. Be a blessing. Hallelujah. Because the Bible made us to understand when we do that, we increase. We don't run on the world system. Hallelujah. Be a blessing. So kind words into somebody's life. Speak, encourage someone. Don't gang up with people doing pity party and money. Glory to God. It's no other that crash, you didn't die. Oh, yeah. So speak right word. Rather than sit down with people and be saying, ah, nobody knows how people will even survive. Austerity measure, you that lola, oh, oh, come, oh, come, oh, come, rich, oh, come, poor. That, that's not the song you should be singing. That's not your song. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. You should be singing, I'm a chosen generation. To show his excellence. He told us this morning. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. Those are the kind of songs you should sing to yourself. Glory to God. Keep the right word. Remember. You are born to thrive in times like this. The Bible says, whatever is born of God overcomes. Whatever. Whatever. You are born of the Father. Glory to God. Are you glad to be here in the church this morning? Hallelujah. Why not just give him praise and glory? Glory to his name. We are more than what? We are more than conquerors. To Christ. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Don't listen to the lies of the world. Don't listen to it. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we bless your name. Hallelujah.